Open States is a collection of tools that we created to help citizens track what's happening uh, in their state legislatures. It contains information on all 50 states, DC and Puerto Rico, in a format that anybody can understand. Uh, that information can be accessed via our website, data downloads, and API, and also uh, mobile applications available on the iPad and iPhone. One of the reasons that Open States was created is that until now, little had been done to help people track what was happening in their state government. We have also found that legislation tends to bubble up from the state level to the federal level, and so Open States also enables people to track legislation that might be arriving on the national scene in the near future. The project really started back in 2009. We found that there was a budding community of developers that was interested in civic information forming around the then younger Sunlight Labs, and we found that those developers wanted a project to contribute to. The idea of working on something related to helping people track state legislation and their legislators came up, and that was really the project that eventually turned into Open States. That same year, another Sunlighter and myself attended a conference called PyCon, and at that conference we presented our then new idea to collect all this information in one place, and we got an amazing response. Over 30 people attended our session, and all of them working on collecting information from their state, and those people became the earliest contributors to Open State, some of which are still active today. We realized that we weren't even organized enough to, for what we wanted to do, and so we set up a mailing list and put together a schedule to start turning on those states so that we get all 50 together uh, in a reasonable time frame. In 2010, we created the Open States API, which was a way for people to get access to the data before we were ready to launch the public site. And that was a way to help people not only make the data more usable, but also people that were contributing to the project, a way to keep them engaged. In 2011, we received a grant from the Rita Allen Foundation, and that grant was to help us finish the remaining states and also to build the public site at openstates.org, and that really moved the project forward. While working on the project, we've done our best to keep the entire process as open as possible. All of the decisions that we've made, we've tried to make with community input. Part of the reason for this is that we realized that without the community, we wouldn't have been able to do half of what we've accomplished. This whole project has been a team effort. We've also heard from several volunteers on the project that working on Open States has been personally meaningful for them. Uh, one contributor, Brandon Lewis from Arizona, taught himself how to program just so that he could start to contribute to the project and add Arizona to our list of available states. Another contributor who was at that first ever hackathon was Joe Gramuska from Illinois, and he wound up getting the inspiration and contacts to lead him to change jobs uh, to work at the Chicago Tribune newspaper. And while working there, he used the Open States API and some of his other work on Open States in his actual job. And now, four years after that initial hackathon, we are very proud to launch Open States with support for all 50 states, DC, and Puerto Rico. Please check out what we've accomplished so far and stay tuned for future updates at openstates.org.